Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeeman Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to be doing a unboxing review on this Lange Innovation Green Solar Hunting Light. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I did a review on a smaller light that you kinda of just strap onto something. This is similar to those all seasons feeders bore lights, but on a much uh, cheaper scale than those. So I'm excited to see how this works. If it works well, I may put a few of them out there because hunting hogs at nights pretty fun to do. I do have a night vision camera, but having this will help and allow other people to hunt on different feeders as well that don't have night vision or thermal. So we'll go ahead and start unboxing this and check it out. This thing's a little bit bigger than I expected. It's actually packaged pretty nicely though, so it shouldn't get messed up in shipping. So there's some uh, directions there. Some frequently asked questions and warranty card. And another one of those. So it looks like it comes with some pretty heavy duty bolts and nuts. Some, nor some more parts and pieces here. It has uh, a mount is what it looks like here. I'm not sure if you can mount it to a T-post. We'll, we'll dive into that and walk through it. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty cool. It actually has a remote, so you can actually control it. And then, let's see, this is the panel itself. So here's the panel itself. You've got the solar panel on this side. It looks like it's got two lights, LEDs, a motion sensor, an on off button, so pretty basic. Panel doesn't look like it's the best solar panel, but as long as it works, uh, I'm not really gonna complain. So I'm gonna read through these instructions real quick and we'll see uh, what we have to do to get this set up. So it says you need to charge the light for the first time in the sunlight for six to eight hours. So on the remote, it's got an on off button. You have a three hour turn on, a six hour turn on, um, a stay on all night button, um, 25, 50, 100% brightness. Radar motion one is 100% brightness when sensor motion turn off when no motion. Radar mode two is 100% brightness when sensor motion or 30% brightness when there's no motion. So a lot of people like to use that mode because it kind of just doesn't scare them off. It'll slowly, gradually turn on and it has a little bit of light there so you can see stuff still and it just gets brighter when it does detect motion. And so what's kind of nice is if it doesn't quite detect it or they're a little bit out of range, you know, you can still see an animal or at least the outline or an object to know something's actually there. And then it has a button that says, go to radar mode one after it stays on four hours. It says, please press the on button on the lamp, test the height and the spacing in between before installing. Recommended installation height. 60 watts, they recommend you installing it at 16 feet. 90 watts at 22 feet, 120 watts at 26 feet. Um, they are calling this a Lange Solar Street Light. Uh, I do not plan on using it for that. My guess is I'm gonna put this on a T post and it's not gonna be much more than four to five feet off the ground, which may be good because it may help spread the light and the brightness uh, throughout the ground. So we'll see how that works. It looks like you can mount on a wall or a tree if you wanted to. That's what I believe these wall bolts are actually for. It's really not a lot of instruction on uh, on mounting it, but we can just kind of take a shot at it. Let's just see. Ooh, that's pretty bright. I am going to shut that off. Well, it works. So this is kind of the mount that you come with. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got four holes, so you can just mount directly there onto a tree or something. It does have a bracket. I'm not sure if a T post will fit in that. Um, you may be able to mount it this way around a T post if you get some longer bolts, but I'm sure we can figure something out. You know, it's, it's got some bolts. I can, I can MacGyver something up to make it work. It looks like this just 
mounts in here. I may have to get a couple of tools to do this. Yeah, those are too tight. So I'm gonna go get um, a socket set, but basically it's got right here, you can unscrew some bolts so that you can slide the mount in. So what I'm gonna do is I will take this outside and we'll go ahead and get it set up. I'm not gonna be able to set this up at the property right now. I'll test it out outside on probably a tree is what I'm thinking or if I can find a, a post or something I can do that. But we'll test it out, get it charged up and we'll just see how well it works. Just found a tree I could mount this to. So got you know some bolts in on that side, two bolts in on this side, you tighten it up. Obviously, if I'm out in the field, I'm gonna set, make sure it's angled correctly and set up a little bit better, but this is really just for testing purposes outside. Wanna be able to make sure it works before I go waste the time setting it up in the field. But So this pipe slides in, you can see you had to loosen these two bolts here, and then you can tighten it down over that pipe. Um, solar panels right there. I am shaded so we'll see how well it works in the shade i'm going to give it about another six hours and then turn it on tonight you can see you got the motion sensor and the light all there so we'll uh, take a look tonight and see how well it works so here's the light on the tree it uh puts off honestly quite a bit of light haven't been able to really test out how well the motion sensor and all the settings work but i wanted to show you how much light it puts off so i'm about 20 feet away i'll back up some so now I'm probably about 20 to 30 yards away. And you can tell if something's up there, you'll see it. So that is it on 30%. And we'll see when it turns on to 100. So I'm about 15 yards away. So pretty good detection and it's pointing straight down on the ground. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with it.